What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me for another episode here at Blended Graphics. And for this week's tutorial, we've got something a little bit new, something different than my previous styles. And I'm venturing off into the style of sports and doing a sports themed poster. And this was something brand new for me that I just wanted to give it a shot. Why not, right? So let's just go ahead and dive right into it and let's get started. Alrighty, so here you are with a blank canvas and the dimensions of this is going to be 1350 by 1080 pixels here And we're gonna do a Lakers themed poster. So let's go ahead and turn on what we have. We've got Russell Westbrook We've got Anthony Davis the brow himself and of course LeBron James and as you can see I've already cut them out of their backgrounds now one of the challenges that I did have with this theme and this style is finding high quality images now, you can always go onto some of the team's websites and go to their media postings and find some pictures there, um, but it's kind of the luck of the draw. So, we're going to get started with LeBron James here. I'm just scaling him up. I want this to kind of be the main focus and have him in the background. And then I want to drop in this Los Angeles skyline here. And I like this image in particular because I like the way the light is, the time of the day, the sunset, and that light from the right side. So, we're going to press Control Command C to scale this up, make sure it fits the entire canvas and we're gonna nudge this over to the left. Perfect, so like I said, the light coming from the right side, that's what we want in our canvas here. And I'm gonna eliminate the left side, so we're gonna add a layer mask, and then using the pen tool, just go ahead and press P on your keyboard, and we are just going to create a little selection of this left side here, just like so. Right click, do make selection, hit OK, and we're gonna fill that with black, so we only have the right side visible. So something that you can add that might be beneficial, if you go to Window and you come down here to the Navigator, what this does is just brings up the full canvas, especially when you're zoomed in, and you can always take it apart, put it back in there like that. It's customizable to how you like it, but it can be very helpful. All right, so we're gonna add a human saturation on top of this skyline, and we're gonna desaturate the entire thing, just like so. And then on top of that, we're gonna add a Levels Adjustment layer, clip it, and then I want to essentially just create some more contrast. So we're going to move the shadows and highlights over just a little bit just to create that contrast. I kind of want the darker areas just to come in just a little bit more. So you can see I'm kind of going back and forth between the properties and the navigator just to see how it looks since I'm so zoomed in. And then on top of this, we're going to add the gradient map and just clip it there. All right. So once we click onto this, we're going to come down to the left side here, which is going to be the dark colors. And the color that we want, I've already searched this, it's going to be FF3E62, and just go ahead and hit OK. Just a nice, we're going to create a nice sunburst color. All right, so on the right side, we're going to do FFEBAE, -E, hit OK. And then we're going to click right here in the middle, and we're going to add another stopper. And so what we can even do here, just make sure that navigator's on so we can see. So just click there, and on this one, we're going to do fe 82 and six one perfect all right so that's what we want like i said a nice sunburst color and hit okay all right so let's just zoom out here a little bit and this is looking nice so we're going to add a gradient map now onto lebron james and if you're not familiar with the lakers the colors are gold and purple so for lebron we're going to stick to the purple theme and for this we're going to do two six one zero four two hit okay and on the highlights uh nothing too different but we're still going to do purple so we're going to do ce7 and I've got EFC, just a lighter purple. And then once more, we'll click right in the middle here, add another stopper. And then for this shade, we're gonna do 7E2 and BD3. So this looks good. And then you can always adjust these um, however you want, just depending on you know your personal preference. Doesn't matter, just move them however you like. Even the little diamonds in between, you can adjust those as well. So something like that. We're gonna hit OK. I like how this looks. And then for this, we're just going to use a soft round brush and painting black, just removing that from the top part. I just want this to be a gradual transition from the purple into his regular skin tone and the, the color of his jersey. All right, so this looks awesome. And I want to drop in now just an image of their celebration when they won the championship just a couple years ago. And we're going to drag this under the gradient map so that that as well has those colors affected. We're going to scale this up because I want this Lakers win to be very visible that's kind of the main icon that i want to be able to see it's recognizable so we're just going to add that closer to his shoulder something like that 
and we're going to drop the opacity because I still want to see some of LeBron James, some of that jersey and the definition of him peeking through this image essentially. All right, so something right about there looks good. And then just like LeBron, we're just going to paint black on some of the areas that we just want to paint away from, like the arm. I want to see the arm peeking through, the basketball, bringing back some of this definition, right? So take your time with this. And again, we're not doing anything crazy with this image so far. Really easy stuff. Just a couple of gradient maps and clipping masks. That's all we got going on. And we're just creating some fun effects with this. And this is looking good. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and keep pushing forward here. I'm just going to clean up the arm just a little bit more. Something like this. Yeah, this looks great. All right, next step, let's just go ahead and outline some of these players real quick. Just get them in the right spot. So let's hit Control Command T. We can scale this up. And I'm just going to start with Westbrook right here. We're going to push him down here at the bottom. And then AD. I'm going to have him facing the left side. We're going to scale him up a little bit more so we have this nice descending size order. Just something like this. And yeah, I'll keep him right about here. And I might go back to Westbrook for just a second here and just kind of maneuver him just ever so slightly. Maybe scale him up just a little bit more. Let's see. Again, just kind of personal preference. This is seeing what I like and I'm happy with that. All right, let's shut off the effects that we've added onto LeBron because what we're going to do is we're going to go to the camera raw filter. We're going to add that on top of this layer here just to do some adjustments with this image by itself here so we're not adding too many layers on top of this and right now the big focus is i just want to create a lot of contrast so of course we're playing with the highlights and shadows and the clarity we're going to bump that up a little bit and we're going to go to the detail and increase the sharpening something i've noticed with sports themed images and compositions is the players in the image itself is very sharp so we're going to increase that the temperature we're just going to move this over just a little bit nothing too crazy and I'm happy with those. All right, so this looks good. And you can even see the before and here is the after with those adjustments. Great. All right, so adding a curves adjustment layer on top of this, I just wanna to go to the red channel and just bump that up just ever so slightly in the blues. We're just gonna take those away just a little bit. And I am happy with this. I like it. Yeah, looks really good. Okay, so. With those adjustments here, now I'm next going to add a solid color adjustment layer just to adjust our tone a little bit here. And we're going to use B6977B, hit OK, and we're going to put this into the overlay blend mode and let's just drop the opacity. So again, we're just making some minor adjustments to the skin tone here. And you can just see the before and after. It just makes it pop just a little bit more. Again, this is just personal preference. You can do what you want. I just kind of like the look of this. I'm gonna turn back on the other colors here and just do a little bit more adjusting, especially with the gradient map here. Just doing some minor adjustments and tweaking before we move on. And then I've noticed, I wanna go up to, I just wanna make the jersey pop a little bit more. So we're gonna to go to the saturation here to the yellows and we're gonna increase that because I just want that to stand just a little bit more. Even the oranges we can just increase a little bit. Yeah. So that looks good. Just a little nice pop in color is what we're going for. Okay, let's go ahead and push forward. We're going to start working on Anthony Davis here. And actually what I'm going to do, instead of showing you the exact same thing that we did with LeBron, I'm going to make those adjustments like with the camera raw filter to both AD and Westbrook. So let's just go ahead and skip over that with those adjustments. All right, so here we are, we're back. As you can see, nothing crazy, just some subtle adjustments that we've added on here. And I next want to add a purple solid color uh, glow just at the bottom here, just something like this. And we're going to use a soft round brush, just paint over the bottom like so. And then I want to switch to a lighter purple on a different layer and just to create a little bit more intense light at the bottom, something like this. Perfect. All right. Now, what I'm doing now is I've added a layer mask to AD. And I'm painting black on there. I just want him to slowly dissipating into the bottom of this canvas, something like this. All right, so that looks good. And let's get to work on the city on the right side here. So we're gonna add a solid color adjustment layer. And I've picked the color FFCBA5. Let's hit okay. And we're gonna put this into, let's see, a darken. Yeah, we'll stick with darken blend mode. And we're just gonna work a little bit on this, make it a little bit more interesting and more intense. 
and I'm just going to paint black on some of the areas here that I want to get rid of. The name of the game is Contrast, and that's all what we're trying to achieve here. I'm actually switching to Multiply just to help us out a little bit more, and just kind of editing away just a little bit on that. Excellent. Let's add another solid color adjustment layer. For this, we are going to pick C7. 4106. Let's hit OK. We're going to put this into the screen blend mode to use here. And as you can see, that this is going to be our, our sun on the right side. So we've inverted that mask, pressing Command I. And then we're going to make a duplicate copy of this. So just press Control Command J on this layer here. And then for this, we're going to put this one into color dodge blend mode, inverting the mask and just bringing some of this back in on the right side again, just for that sun. Yeah. Looking great, y'all. Looking really good. All right, let's move back to LeBron. We're going to add an exposure adjustment layer on top of this because we're going to get to working on these highlights and shadows. So we're starting out with the highlights with the exposure, just bumping that up, inverting the mask, and let's just call this H for highlights, adding another one for our shadows, clipping it below, and we're going to do the opposite this time. Move this over to the left, invert the mask. Easy stuff here, and we're also going to invert this mask. All right. So I want to move these beneath our color adjustment layer so that way the highlights and shadows aren't going to be desaturated. Starting with the highlights here, uh, let's just get to work on the face and we'll just move from there. So starting on the right side because that is in fact where this light is coming from. We want to have him interacting with our background so we're just adding some highlights on the right side of the face. And I'm going to sample just the color of the skin here because I want to adjust the just under the eyelid there, or on top of the eyelid, just so it's not so dark. Let's bring that back. All right, minor segue. All right, let's move on. Speeding through this, because all we're doing is just some pretty basic highlight and shadow work, and we're gonna do that. Now moving on to the shadows real quick. And you know what, I'm happy with this, so let's go ahead and turn on AD and Westbrook. We're gonna do the same exact steps to both of these guys like what we did with LeBron. You're not gonna see me repeat those steps just for the sake of time. So let's skip over to that uh, with those adjustments already completed. And this is what we've got here as a result of that. All right, so pushing forward, um, I'm gonna go back to LeBron here for a second. We're gonna add a solid color adjustment layer. And I just want to find a bright orange. And all we're going to do is we're going to put this into the see color dodge blend mode. Yeah, we'll stick with that. And I just want to create a little bit more highlights uh, on the right side here, just from that sunlight. Something a little bit more orange to make it look a little bit more believable. All right, so something like this. I like it. And then I want to switch to a solid white color on a new layer here. And what we're going to do with this now is on some of the bright points on the edges, we want to make those more intense and even brighter. And not the entire edge, just pick your spots. So we're just going to go over some of these areas just like so. And as you can see here, we're just making it look a little bit more intense. And we can even touch up the eyes while we're at it here. And let's move down to the jersey. And now we want to apply these seam adjustments to our two other players as well, making sure that they get the same touch-ups because they, they want to interact with the sun as well and you know make sure everything is consistent and believable here. And I even want to add just a little bit of a dab just on the right side here for the sun, just like that. All right, so our next step now is we want to have the light interaction with the purple glow on the bottom. So we're going to add another solid color adjustment layer here. Um, just find a nice purple, something like this, we'll hit OK. And we're going to clip it below. We're going to start with Westbrook here. And I double click that layer. And if you alter option, click on these uh, little anchor here. You can divide it in half. And we're just going to move this over to the right. So that way the purple is sticking to the brighter portions of our subject. We'll hit OK. Invert the mask. And now we're just going to go over just the bottom areas here. Obviously because that's going to be the most direct contact with that purple light. So just touching up the legs, the feet, uh, just something like this. All right, and then even on the arms, we'll get a little bit of light. Perfect, all right. So now we're gonna take this a step further with a different purple color, not in any blend mode, just normal. And we're just gonna add it a little bit more to the edges here for some more intensity, kind of like what we did with LeBron on the right side. Perfect. All right, so with the color balance adjustment layer, I'm um, just sticking to more of the magentas and purples and blues, something like this, inverting the mask, and then just painting that back in. 
and we're gonna add another solid color adjustment layer and clip it below. For this, we're gonna put into, what do we want? Something light, uh, overlay, soft light. Uh, we'll stick with hard light on this, and then same principles. We're gonna invert the mask, and then just touch up the bottom areas, just something like this. And that way we have that interaction with the purple. Okay, so now we just gotta add these same adjustments with AD. It's only fair. Here are those adjustments after the fact, and I have to say, guys, I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. It's looking really nice. All right, all we have is a couple of final touches, and then we're going to call it a wrap. I'm going to add a purple glow on top of this just to help kind of blend our all of our subjects together a little bit. Let's drop the opacity, something like this, and yeah, I like how that looks. All right, next we're going to drop in a logo, and we're going to move this behind our players. And let's scale this up a little bit as well. And we're going to add a layer mask, and using that selection tool, I just want to get rid of this right side. So let's fill that with black. And All right, perfect. And we're going to drop the opacity on this quite a bit. Something like this. Actually, um, let's drop it a little bit more. Yeah. All right, so I like that. And another layer on top, we're going to fill this with black. And we want to go to Filter. We're going to go to Render, and let's go to Lens Flare. So let's just drag this over to the right side, something like this. And you can adjust the brightness if you want, just whatever you're liking. And once you're happy with that, hit OK. And we're going to put this into a screen blend mode. And Controller Command T, we're going to move this off to the right just to kind of act as if it's our sunlight. So just taking that up another level here. So something like this. And you can kind of see some of that on the ball here. So I just want to erase that. Perfect. All right. So with another solid color adjustment layer, we're just going to find a deep purple or bluish tone something right about here let's hit ok and you don't have to do this um, but what I want to do just I kinda like the look of adding a little bit of a shadow behind LeBron onto this background again if you don't want to add that you don't have to I just kinda like the look of it so I'm adding it on here again I just kinda like to have my subjects and other components of this just interacting with everything so that's why I'm adding it and we're gonna add another solid color adjustment layer here. And I just wanna add just a little bit of a glow kind of at the bottom here. So it just, again, fits with everything else that we've got going on. Something like this. Perfect. And we can touch up this edge here just a little bit. Just some final tweaking here. And we'll add that in. Yeah, okay. And I just want to get erased that, so bring back some of that original color of the jersey. Just so we have a little bit more contrast and color. Something like this. I'm just getting picky at this point. You can do what you want with it. These are just kind of my ideas. I just want to see some of the definition from underneath here, from our original uh, LeBron layer. Alright everyone, this is going to be a wrap. And this is the final composition here. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this sports theme and style is something new for me. I wanted to challenge myself and just get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I think as artists, that's something that we should all be doing, challenging ourselves. I think it just helps us grow uh, as an artist and in the long run, just getting better and better and trying new things. So with all of that said, if this is something that you like, uh, uh, this kind of style, and you want to see more of it, more content similar to this, let me know down there in that comment section. And as always, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if you do like the material, and I hope to have you again back for our next video. In the meantime, please be safe, take care, and hope to see you real soon. Goodbye, everyone.